shit. So, I just wanted to show you something quick. It's called the Olight Universal Bicycle Mounting Bracket. What is it? It's just a, it's just for mounting flashlights onto bicycle handlebars. I use a bicycle quite often. I think it's a very nice type of transportation, especially in mm, modern European cities where they're generally quite flat and the road quality is very high. Um, I was also doing a lot of mountain biking as a kid um, up till, I don't know, till today, I guess. There's a lot of races and downhill and stuff so I have quite good control on a bicycle and can uh, fix them and go anywhere with them pretty much so it just makes sense to me especially with camping so anyway this thing's called Olight universal bicycle mounting bracket and just how it works quickly this is a lead lenser probably about 35 or 30 millimeter um, diameter on the uh, on the housing just basically put it on um, I just strapped some extra bicycle tubes around this for shock absorption and grip and then just clip this rubber over and then do the same on the handlebars so if this finger if my finger was the handlebars then you would have this uh, bicycle light fixed to your your handlebars why is this good? Well, this rubber, you'd have to take my word for it, but this rubber is quite good quality. Um, another thing, it, it does not easily come out from its, its uh, permanent fixing positions on the housing. Why do, why do I say permanent in brackets? Well, because there are multiple lengths of rubber that you can choose from, depending on whatever you want to affix to this thing but they all clip in quite tightly. I mean, even one will just hold it while bounced around. So the, they designed this well, you know, they obviously looked exactly at what rubber they're using. The other thing which you'll have to take my word on is that all of these edges, all of these edges inside here that the rubber contact with, um, the rubber has contact with, the edges are all smooth. So this is not going to wear out your rubber because there's a concentrated force um, coming through a sharp edge against them. Uh, it, it doesn't have any swivel capability, but it does have the ability to turn 90 degrees with this uh, standard Phillips screwdriver. If you undo this bolt, uh, screw and loosen it and then you can separate the two pieces and then turn it so if you have a flashlight which has a 90 degree bend which apparently some have I mean I don't really see why I don't personally see why that would be super useful but you know whatever people whatever angle your flashlight has if it's if it's any type of uh, if it's any factor of 90 degrees then you can oriented correctly with this device so mine is a straight one so I have to orient the uh, light mount 90 degrees to the handlebar mount and just tighten that screw up again once you know select your position and don't over torque it this tool came with the kit the body came with the kit and the four, one, two, three, four, um, elastic or rubber, you know, whatever this is, a synthetic rubber band came with the kit in this little box, in this little packet, which I'll keep. Uh, what I like about it is that they didn't put the kit into some big box. I got it from Amazon. So they just put it into some little thin, one of these things with the uh, bubble wrap so I could get it straight to the letterbox. So 
another thing that I think this is great for, which, well, I know, one more thing about the construction. These ribbed, these are raised ribs. I don't know if you can see that exactly. But in this area is a ribbing. That is a rubberized area. So inside the plastic is a rubber inset with ribs, which assists to create quite a lot of um, friction onto the, the, the object that's to be held. And it's not easy to turn. So I, I think that this will be, I mean, especially with these, you know, rubber on rubber, it's not gonna, not gonna do anything. Something that I like about it for the forest is that it can take a can of pepper spray you know, say you're staying outside and uh, you're worried about it, or well, not worried, but there may be a, you know, some animal coming around in the middle of the night. So, I mean, might be unconventional use, I guess. And, and then you have your flashlight attached to your pepper spray securely. So you can now light and whatever you want, which is nice because when I'm outside, I basically sleep with this flashlight and this pepper spray in case something weird happens at night. Nothing's happened because uh, I choose uh, secure areas. But if something did happen, you basically want to use these two together anyway. And I trust this to hold it. I mean, this is, this ain't going anywhere. Anyway, just a quick video. Um, I also like the price, uh, price point of this thing. It's about six euros, which for something that's multi-purpose, uh, and deliver it straight to your door. Six bucks is a pretty good deal. You see, I put a bit of epoxy on the top of this uh, flashlight because this uh, I've had it for a long time and it cracked. Maybe I'll do another video of this uh, UHU Plus epoxy uh, 300. This, this, I'm quite happy with this epoxy. Anyway.